Okay, so we're going to look at managing time off or blocking out time on your calendar in Wix. So there's always going to be times where you want to block time where appointments can't be booked by clients. Now, if that time is outside of your bookable hours anyway, you don't have to worry. So for instance, if in Wix you've set up, I only work Mondays and clients can only book me Mondays, then what happens Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, doesn't matter from Wix because it's not gonna let them book on those days anyway. But if you've set your system that you're available for appointments from 9 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. on a Monday, and then suddenly you are going on holiday, you have got an appointment, you've got all these other things in life going on that you can't do those hours on a set day, then we have to tell Wix that you're not available for booking on those days. What we don't want to do is we don't want to keep going in and out of the routine schedule. So unless your schedule is changing permanently, then leave that as it is and just manage that time off and blocked time in Wix itself. And that's what we're going to show you how to do today. So for instance, say this Saturday here, it's available in Wix and we can tell what's available in Wix to be booked because anything that's white is what's open on your website for clients to book themselves by your default hours. Anything that's greyed out is time slots that clients can't book themselves on your website. So say this Saturday afternoon, you've actually now got to take one of the kids for a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment. So you're not available online for customers to book. So what we do is we click on that appointment slot that you want to block off and when we click on it it'll give you the option of adding a new appointment or block time so we're going to click on blocked time it'll bring up a window you can confirm the staff member that it's blocked for so even if it's just you that works in your business click your name there you can give it a title if you want so Dentist appointment. Time it starts, time it ends. You can put a note for yourself there, but then when you're ready to save, let me just get the spelling right, I click on block. And what that's going to do is it's going to add it to your calendar as blocked time, which means that clients won't be able to block that time on the system. Now, if you want to edit that block time or delete it, just click on it in Wix. And click edit. And you can do it over a number of days. So if you're going on holiday, for instance, you can do it start time and end time when you're away on holiday. But you can edit there and then just click block again. If you were, have blocked out time but now you want to make it available, then you click on the block time from your calendar when it loads and then you click on remove and it will take that time off of your calendar and you say yeah I want to remove it. So this means you can easily block out ad hoc time when you thought you're going to be available but you're not available for clients to book. You can also use it for putting in gaps between appointments if you've got travel time etc. Now there is another way of blocking time on your calendar and this is why it's really important to know. So you will have a calendar which is synced to your Wix calendar. It will normally be your Google calendar. 
if you're not sure what calendar is synced, then if you click on staff, it will tell you what calendar is synced to your calendar. But say for instance, over in our Google calendar, you had an appointment that you wanted to book in. So say we wanted to put that same dentist appointment in over on Google Calendar, we can just add it. And as long as we select on Google Calendar that we are busy during that time and click Save, this will then send that to Wix that you are busy this time. So we've added that here, Saturday 1 to 2 p.m. And we said we're busy. We've put that in on our Google Calendar. If we go over to Wix and we refresh it, clicking that little icon at the top, you'll see Google's automatically told Wix that you are busy on that day and can't take an, a client appointment. So this is the important thing to remember, because these two are linked, your Wix calendar and your Google calendar, they affect each other. So if you are booking in things for clients, always book it in using your Wix calendar and let Wix tell Google what you've got coming up. But personally, I prefer to manage my own time, appointments, um, etc. block time off over here in Google because it's a little bit easier, it's a little bit faster and it means I can also give access to other people to, to manage my calendar as well. I just deleted that in Google and what we'll see is that Google's then going to tell Wix, once we refresh it, that that's now available. So be careful when you're adding things in your Google Calendar because it will, if it's marked as busy, block it out in Wix. So I've seen think, times before when people have added tasks or something they've got to do on a particular day and what they haven't realised is that by doing that it's blocked out a bookable slot on Wix. So you can add time off in either or, um, but my advice would be manage your time off, a busy time, family appointments, personal appointments over in your master calendar in Google and manage any client activity over here in Wix.